Okay, problem number 35, uh, a piecewise defined function in this question here. So f of x is 2x cubed plus ax. If x is less than, strictly less than negative 1, it's equal to c. If x is equal to negative 1, it's equal to bx squared plus 4. If x is strictly larger than negative 1. A, B, and C are unspecified constants. Part A asks you to compute the limit as x goes to negative 1 from the left of f of x. So negative 1 from the le left, this is x is less than negative 1 here. So the formula that we need up here is 2x cubed plus ax. And so at this point, there's no, there's no problem here. We can just substitute in negative one in for x. And so it's two times negative one cubed plus a times negative one. So this is going to be negative two minus a. For part b, our task for with the limits x goes to one from the right of f of x. And now, x is larger than negative 1, so we have the formula uh, bx squared plus 4 here. So this is the limit. Oops, I don't need to write the limit anymore because we can again just evaluate this by substituting in. It's b times negative 1 squared plus 4, so this is just b plus 4. Part C says, how much a, how must a and b be related if the limit x goes to negative 1 of f of x exists? Well, this, this limit as x goes to negative 1 of f of x existing means that the two one-sided limits must equal each other. So negative 2 minus a must equal b plus 4. This is how those are related. And then finally, part D. Part D says, uh, suppose C is equal to 10 and F is continuous for all X. Continuous means that the limit as X goes to negative one of F of X must equal F of negative one. And F of negative one is, we are now told that this is 10. So we're told that 10 needs to equal negative 2 minus a, needs to equal b plus 4. If we solve this for a and b, uh, a needs to equal negative 12, and b needs to equal 6.